Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Cotton versus Pendleton. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Miss Cotton, you say Mr. Pendleton's meddling mother is the reason he is denying your five-month-old daughter love Cotton. You claim you are 100% positive he's the father and plan to set the record straight today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Pendleton, you are here today with your mother and you both believe that it's impossible that you fathered Miss Cotton's daughter because you claim you are unable to have children. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Miss Cotton, why do you believe Mr. Pendleton's mother is causing him to doubt your daughter? First of all, I just want to say his mother needs to mind her business. Like, at the end of the day, Darren is a grown man. And I understand he's a mama's boy or however she treats him because that's your child. That's your fine and dandy. Your Honor. But he's a grown man now and he needs to stand up and take care of his responsibilities. Like, my daughter looks exactly like him and I really cannot figure out how he denies her. Your Honor, she don't look nothing like me. She don't got none of my features, my, you know, my nose, my mouth, my eyes, nothing. And on spite of that, I've been in a relationship for eight years prior to this. And I tried for six years to have a baby and couldn't. So... But he thinks my daughter looks like his father. So what are you talking about? Child looks like you. <laughs> so you say he's denying your baby. <sighs> yes. And you say it's his mother. She's meddling. Yes. And she's the one that is putting this notion in his head that he's not loves biological father. Yes. Well, she said she was a, with another man at the same time. Okay, we gonna get to that. First, I want to understand the relationship between the two of you. What was the nature of this relationship? Committed or what were you I mean, you we all... were together for a while and then we separated, but we were still having, having sex. So, so how many years were you together? How, how long? About 10 months. And okay. then we separated and then we were still, you know, dealing with each other. But when she got pregnant, she told me she was pregnant. And then... Like, two weeks later, she called me and said it's a possibility, you know, that the baby uh, might not be mine. So if you call me and tell me that, then I'm not supposed to believe you when you say that the baby's 100% mine. I slept with one person in April. Okay, so you slept with somebody... Right, but how many times, though? Like, she told me it was once. One but, time in April. But how can I believe you? we were not you? together. So at the end of the day, I'm a grown woman. I can do whatever I want with so my body. So how are you body. 100% sure? But wait a minute. If because you slept... Hold pregnant. on. If you slept with somebody in April... The court records say that your child was born in December, right? Yes. Right. All right, so December, and you count back, eight, landed eight, April, or eight, nine months. Mm. I carry her 38 weeks and four days. And so that means that you believe the timeline is off from when you slept with the other guy? Mm-hmm. Yes. But you did have sex with someone else, and was it protected or unprotected? It was protected until he took the condom off. And that like, would be unprotected. But she's hundred percent sure. It's like, how can you be hundred percent sure if the guy took the condom off? You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you be hundred percent sure, Miss Cotton? I mean, that really is the question of the day. Besides the paternity. Because allegedly she looked like me, but she a baby. She ain't got her features yet. Like, you know, how don't get me wrong. Have her I don't get me yet, wrong. Like... She's beautiful. Like she's gorgeous. But I can't. You know, she a baby. Babies don't start developing. Oh, she's so precious. Thank you. <laughs> you just thanked me. You just thanked me wrong. like that was your I'm, daughter. I'm, I'm... <laughs> your Honor, one, we'll start with the meddling that she says I'm doing. The only thing I've done is tell him, do not get attached to this child until you find out whether or not she's yours. I told him I didn't want him to bring the baby around me for the same reason. But I didn't want my baby around you anyway. She has a whole family that loves her. Unconditionally. But if she's mine, she don't need your at all. I have been taking care of my child. You don't even know me. I go through. You don't even know me. I knew you though when you had your surgery and you needed help, and I was helping you and your son. I was half dead in the hospital, uh, and I was there, and I wasn't even his girlfriend. But y'all trying to make it seem like I'm some type of messed up person, like we're not saying. I'm just saying you saying that you're 100 percent sure that she's mine. So and I have not been honest. Hold on, hold on. Been like these women that be out here and does not say, oh. I slept with somebody else or I did something else. I was always honest. So, so at the end honest, of the day, don't make it seem like sure. I was lying to you. So, hold on. Yes, so, I am. So I know when I got pregnant, I know my body. Miss Cotton, when you got pregnant, did you immediately tell Mr. Pendleton? Did you tell the other guy you were sleeping with during that time? What happened? I already thought I was pregnant. And I told Darren, like, my period was all off that since March. So, I already thought I was pregnant. But when I found out and I actually took the pregnancy test at home, I told him. Then when I went back to the hospital and they gave me, like, you know, the eight weeks, 
I told him that as well. And the way, like, it was confusing how they did with my ultrasound, and they had my due date all mixed up because and I've been confused mystery. the whole time. So like, I, told I don't know truth. what's going on. But, Miss Cotton, you're saying that you were even confused with your doctor's appointment because your conception date and the window got moved. And they were trying to tell me that I wasn't as far as I knew I was. Like, they tried to make it seem like I wasn't, you know, as far in my pregnancy, but I knew I was farther than what they were saying. So... So you basically knew more than the doctors? <laughs> it's my body. Is this your first baby? No, it's not. Okay, so, first of all, calm that neck down when I'm asking you questions, because I'm trying to understand what your point is, and your point proves your case. So bring it down a notch, because I'm not Mr. Pendleton. Actual cases. Her car had come through and slammed me up against the toolbox. There was a torpedo coming at my face. Personal injury court cases everyone's going to be talking about. And let's, let, let's just not displace this anger, honey. I don't have any anger, because at the end of the day, I take care of my daughter. So you don't have any anger? I'm not angry. Okay, good. I'm it's glad. Because, father, because if you less. don't have any anger, then this is going to resolve itself. So you realize and you feel like, you know what, this doctor may be off. I feel like I'm further along than what they say. And if I am the amount of weeks I think I am, Mr. Pendleton is my daughter's biological father, without a doubt. That's what you say to yourself. Mm -hmm. Does the doctor ever verify that the timeline that you believe to be true is true? Meaning, at some point, does the ultrasound reflect that you are my due further date was along? Moved up. Yes. So your due date was moved up. That's the testimony I was trying to get. So now you've told Mr. Pendleton that he is the biological father based upon the due date, right? Yes. Did you tell this other guy that he was a possibility? He's irrelevant. No, but you, did you tell him he was a possibility? When I found out all the stuff that was going on, I was honest with him as well. Like... That's my point. So, during that time, did the other guy try to step up? Did he try to be involved in the it's pregnancy? Not, it wasn't no talking. No, it wasn't... So, you weren't even talking to this other no. guy? So, at that time, was Mr. Pendleton in your life helping you along with the pregnancy? He was in my life stringing me along. Oh, it's a baby yours. We gonna be together. Had a whole new girlfriend that his mother just, oh, fell in love with. Now your best friends. And anytime I would say something to him, it was, oh... You're being petty. Yeah, How am I being not petty even like when I'm carrying like, a baby listen, that I'm going listen, through? Listen, do her whole pregnancy. I was in pain my entire wanted, pregnancy. If I didn't do what she wanted, she got mad and angry. From the very beginning to the very so end. So, well, hold on. Well... So, this, she called me one he day... He would pop up. wanted me to no, do something. I was like, I can't do it. She said, well, I'm glad the baby not yours anyway. And this is in text messages on Messenger and Facebook. Like, she had my mom up, told her the same thing. The baby not yours. I don't want nothing for y'all. Leave me alone. And then two weeks later or a couple of days, she'll hit me back like, oh, the baby yours. Like, make up your mind. Like, is it mine or not? Is so, it... Miss Cotton, were you doing the back and forth because he was making you angry? I told him <clears throat> one time, yes, that it probably wasn't his because he was making me mad. Like I said, he had a whole sure. nother girl and you were really playing games my whole entire pregnancy. Games. Like, I'm not playing but games. you don't... You, you still you know... acting like if love come back, that she's yours, we gonna be together. What, what Man, about last listen, night? I'm gonna be there with her. Last night? What happened last night? What happened last night, Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Pendleton? Miss Kyle, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> you plead in the fifth? I ain't plead. I don't know what you're talking about. Your mom do too. That's why she mad. But okay. you know. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, listen. The point is, Yana, she just want me to be the father because she know I'm going to be a great father. So in your court papers, you said it was impossible for you to it have is. children. I mean, I've never been tested for it, but I've tried for six years straight. But I got pregnant in October. October? You just said I March. Got like, which one is in it? In October and had a miscarriage. Like, um, Please right. don't sit here and try to play me like I didn't carry your baby the first time. I've been pregnant by you twice. This is what we're not gonna do. Well, how do we know your miscarriage was his? Right. The whole paternity is between me and him, but you subjected yourself into it. So what are you I'm saying? I'm just saying, listen, no, man, look. No, he asked me. Thank you. Right, Mama's no, boy. Listen, listen, listen. You never had a test. You never had no. any confirmation. No. I'm only doubting this because of what she told me. If she never told me that she slept with somebody else, then I more than likely would have been on board. But because of that doubt, I can't say, yo, this is my child. So, Miss Cotton. Yes. You, you found out you were pregnant. He was, I guess kind of there for you during the pregnancy? No. no. Not really? No. no. At all? He would pop up 
every three, four months or whatever, you know, like... Oh, every so people, no like, consistency. No, no, not at all. And so when you had love, when you had the baby, was he there in the hospital? No. No. And I called him and was like, you know, I had the baby and... He was like, well, I come up there and we can get the DNA test, and he never came. So now Love is five months old. Mm -hmm. What has Mr. Pendleton done for her? Um, honestly, <laughs> spent a little bit of time. Like, he got her on a couple weekends. Yeah, and I, I come really get her. Like him yeah, and I come get her during the day. I kept I don't her over really weekends. Like him I took getting her out. Daughter, I took but her out he down has Philly. Got her a few times. You know what I'm I take her out and have fun with her. Are you so. supporting her financially? No. I do what I can for no. her when I can. Like, no. It's yes all right, or no. Whatever. It's no. Now but fully, Mr. I know, Pendleton, I have to say, that in I this took. photo that Miss Cotton submitted to the court, mm. you look like a proud dad. I mean, you look I, like I wanna be. this is I my wanna baby. Be, but until I know, Yana, I'm not going to spend all this money, and she not mine. Yana, she got a mouth on her, and when I don't yeah. do what she wants, she 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 start going belligerent <laughs> and crazy. No filter. Uh, no filter. So is she mine from this point on? Then I'm gonna step up and do what I gotta do. But you're not going to get me to do A, B, and C because you want me to do it when you want but me to But I don't ask you to do anything, do I? I ask you to spend time with my child. That's and what I ask you to do. And even now, you have a problem. That's what I, I do. I come get her all the time. And he has. But you're so, the one that's telling him not to do, not to be around no, her. Not. Like, you're, yes, you are. She just telling me, don't look but like a fool. But you was just buying Ms. a Pendleton. whole pack of grandma bibs. Yes, I did. But you're not the grandma, right? I don't you don't know. know. That's what we here for. So you all are just basically going through these motions and you, you really just walking a tightrope, trying not to this fall for the baby because I'm you don't know if it's I'm yours. Baby, I love excuse me. He wants excuse me. to be his baby. Excuse me. I just no, don't I... believe it. My baby does not have nothing to do with this drama. We have a lot of drama in between us. And I really just want this to come to an end, the whole denial part, because it's really, like, a lot. Do you hope that he is her biological father? I mean... At the end of the day, if he not, I wouldn't be hurt. It would just be like, okay, say, yeah, I'm going with my life. No. But so when you say if he isn't, that means you are acknowledging that there is a possibility that he is. That's isn't. the only reason why I told him about the other guy. Like, I'm not a lying female at all. Like, I could have been like these women. Oh, it's no possibility. Da 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 da. And I could be no. like these men and like, get low and disappear, and never be in her life. You did disappear. The no, I, time did, I was I... in the shelter, starving, and everything. The baby doesn't even look like him. Some... Wait, Miss Pendleton, you're saying and... you don't think the baby looks like your son? I don't. The point is, until I find out that she's mine, I don't want to invest my whole life around it and then be crushed when she's not mine. I you can know? tell yeah. from the way you're holding her and looking at her when you have her. That, I'm that, happy. I'm, I'm... That, that you do, you enjoy the I time do. with her, and there's a part of you that you want to be her biological father. I, I see that. I, that I mean... comes through in the pictures. I'm just trying to figure out all of this noise you all make. I mean, <laughs> every, it's just this, constant this, Every conversation arguing. Times a day. Yeah. She oh, right out said that she would not let me see that baby if it was my grandchild. First of all, I never once said that. Yes, you I did. I would never, ever deny my child anything... You did. ...to prosper her life. Like, if you are her family... You did right to my face. Her. You said but it right to my face. Not watch my child alone. And that is the end of that story. Miss Cotton, you just said, if, in fact, your daughter... Love mm -hmm. is in fact Mr. Pendleton's biological child. You will in fact allow this family to be a part of her life because that's him. what would prosper your child. Yep. And as a mother, that's the right thing. Yep. All right. It's time to get the results. Jerome? Thank you. <laughs> you ain't going to clap. There you go. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. In the case of Cotton versus Pendleton, when it comes to five-month-old Love Cotton, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Pendleton, you are the father. <laughs> Yo. Congratulations. Thank you. She is so fake. <laughs> Mr. Pendleton, it really does look like you have tears in your eyes. This meant something to you, right? It did. 
I can tell. Don't clown him, Miss Cotton. Don't clown. Miss Cotton, <laughs> don't clown. Don't clown him. Because I can really tell that it did mean something to him. Listen, don't miss the moment. Sometimes we get caught up in our madness and our anger and where we miss the moment. This is about your baby girl. Mm -hmm. They're now discovering what you said to be true all along. But now we've got to figure out how are we going to fill this space with words of positivity, with words of honoring the child, which means, Mr. Pendleton, it's time to step up 100%. Will do. So you're not just the drive by dad, right? right? No. Right? We're not just coming when it's convenient. Tell you. As her biological father, yeah. it's time for you to be consistent in her life. And that's financially and emotionally. Now, you've thought for many years that you couldn't even have children. So this child is not just a blessing. She's somewhat of a miracle for you. Mm-hmm. You feeling it now? Mm-hmm. But it's going to require some work between the two of you all. And that's co-parenting work and that's setting healthy boundaries. So we have counseling and resources for you. I want you to talk to Dr. Jeff and just figure out how we can bring this thing together because most importantly, she has a chance to have her entire life with her dad and she has a grandmother on his side as well. You've got your family. She has an entire village and that's a good thing. So I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. (laughs) 